afternoon. We have just arrived to the airport in Medellin and we ended up checking in online yesterday. So all we have to do is get through security and head to the lounge. <laughs> Shockingly, after having not had a shower in any lounge until we got to Panama, we enjoyed our experience so much in Panama that we both decided to get a shower here. Getting it done is pretty simple. All you have to do at this lounge is just go to the front desk and ask to have a shower. With that, then you get this wonderful set of amenities. So you get shampoo, some shower gel, and of course, your towel and then basically you were just given free reign. So looking forward to this because we were not blessed with the greatest amount of hot water in our Airbnb. So hopefully this will be absolutely wonderful. Oh, that was great. The water was a little bit odd. You had to get it to a certain point to make sure it was the absolute bright sweet spot. But once it was, it was just what we needed. In case you were wondering whereabouts we were headed now, then hopefully this little thing on my t-shirt here might give you a clue. Until that point though, back to the lounge. Okay, so it is another lounge, so therefore we need another rating. This lounge is called the lounge, very inventive, in the Medellin International Terminal. As usual, we are starting off with food and the food selection here is quite limited. Based on reviews, I think we we're actually a little bit surprised because it does say premium food on the website. That being said, the quality of the food that you do get is excellent. So we had the option of a pasta and a soup there were three salads to choose from, some watermelon, and a selection of small desserts. And the interesting thing is that you could order off of a menu via a QR code. However, the only option there was meatballs and rice or meatballs with pasta. So as I said, very limited, but good quality. So we're rating it a five out of 10. On the drinks front then, this is actually very comprehensive. Soft service, beer, wine, and also top shelf liquor. The only thing that it is lacking in is any kind of bartending service or the option on cocktails, which we have seen in other lounges. That all said though, besides the alcohol options, then you do have all of the options by way of water, sodas, juices, and all of them are in takeaway containers. So that is all extremely useful. We do love that. So we're going to give this one an eight. In terms of cleanliness, there is not much to say. The entire lounge is very clean and the service here is phenomenal. They clean up after you very quickly. So with that, we're rating it a 9 out of 10. On the comfort front, this is a relatively small lounge, but actually the range of seating options that you get is excellent. And then on top of that, there is a separate rest area where if you do feel the need to get a kit, then you can definitely do so. So as far as comfort goes, you can't really ask for much more than that, but you still can ask for a little bit more. So we're gonna give this one a nine. And finally, we come to amenities, and this one has a lovely shower, not as nice as the one in Panama, but still very modern and clean. 
It has a business room, which is actually what we're sitting in right now. As Nick mentioned, there's a quiet room. There's a small, and I mean small, little play area for kids. There's your normal Wi-Fi and charging ports. So with that, we're rating it an 8 out of 10. And when you put all that together, that brings you to a 39 out of 50. And that puts us in the mid-tier of our lounges, but there's a little bit more towards the top of the pile. This has been very, very good. I think the only thing that realistically this could have improved on is just the range of food, but pretty much everything else is nigh on perfect and we couldn't have been happier here. So this has been wonderful, but now it is time to board our flight. Let's go. Just landed in Lima, Peru. We now need to get through immigration and figure out how we're going to get to our Airbnb. So, wish us luck. We decided to take a bus from the airport into the center of Lima, or specifically Miraflores, because our Airbnb is about two blocks away from where the bus drops us off, so we thought that was pretty convenient. And it only cost us 30 soles total, which is just under 10 Canadian dollars and about 8 US dollars. It's been a pretty long day, so the prospect of being able to get into our Airbnb is quite an exciting one right now. is sleeping so we let ourselves in and that's why we're talking really quietly but so far this airbnb looks really nice it was 140 canadian dollars for four nights so that works out to about 35 dollars per night but it is about 11 30 in the evening and so because of that we are absolutely bushed and so we're going to turn in but please do join us tomorrow because we are going to be exploring Lima and I personally can't wait. Until next time, take care. And keep smiling.